Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is August 12th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading or investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So a uh, very nice day for Palantir as well as for Tesla. Palantir was up $2.54. That's 11.36% in one day. So we closed at $24.89. Post market, we seem to be down by 19 cents. We won't cry to our mom for that. What does this look like on this chart? Look at this. Huge volume. A huge volume. So what happened today was the earnings call. So the earnings came out very early. I came out with a special video because uh, I saw that pre-market uh, Palantir was uh, going super high. So I did a short video and I watched uh, Tom Nash do the analysis for the earnings call. He used to be a real financial advisor. I'm going to let you watch him and uh, this is really interesting. So basically the stock has reacted very strongly. Look at this. Look at the volume. So we had 188 million shares that were exchanged and yesterday we were at 34 million. So a uh, huge uh, jump in volume. And remember, we were in this uh, bullish channel, the support, and we were going up slowly, up and down towards the bottom of the channel. And today we broke that channel and we also broke a resistance that we had at 2430. I'm going to have to do some cleanup here. So this is now a support. This is now a support. Very nice day. Let's go look at the one hour chart to understand a little bit better. So basically we opened right here at 2446. So we opened quite high, went a little bit down, but finished the hour very strongly. Then briefly broke 2442 before being squished down, then a little bit of a pullback, but it was not a 100% pullback. It was a it was a decent pullback. And now we are basically going sideways, trying to just absorb what has happened. And the stochastic, stochastic is at 76, which is okay. It went super high, but then because of the pullback, the stochastic was affected a little bit. But we finished the last hour with a longer wick at the bottom, still showing some buying pressure during the last hour. And all other indicators on the hourly chart are just, are just super, super bullish. Let's go back to the daily chart to look at the indicators. So uh, stochastic, I'm a little bit surprised I would uh, dare to say. Stochastic is at 83, so it's quite nice. I would have expected stochastic to be a little bit uh, higher. Maybe it's because uh, we came down a little bit here compared to the high of the day. So maybe uh, stochastic is uh, taking that into consideration. But all in all, uh, stochastic over 80 is showing some strong uh, move. MACD also a strong move. We are getting closer to coming uh, positive for the two lines. We have uh, the blue line at minus uh, 0 0.01. So very close to becoming positive there. So this is going to be nice when it happens. It's going to show us that the move that Palantir has started around around the beginning of August is going maybe a little bit uh, farther. And last but not least, we have our beloved DMI that is hard to convince and hard to please that just uh, crossed bullish. So that is very nice. One note of ca caution, when stocks do gaps like this, it's very nice. If you are in the stock or if you were in the stock, you can sell a little bit if you want to take some short term profit. But also it's it can be unstable. So the stock could be dropping down tomorrow. I don't think this is going to happen, but there is always this uh, possibility. So I would just like the stock to stabilize maybe over 2430, stabilize there for a couple of days just to let 
let the stock market absorb what has happened and then maybe uh, start and move on a little bit higher very slowly so that we have a sustained bull channel. This is why it's important to become a member of this YouTube channel because for five bucks a month, you will get access to my exclusive weekly recap videos where I do a weekly technical analysis using the weekly chart to give a broader idea of where Palantir and Tesla are going in the following week. So if you are a more longer term investor, you won't want to miss that. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.